There's Antoinette. She's having a mango float ice cream. Are you it's there. Look, see? And he needs two hands to hold it, but only one mouth to eat it. And he's feeling better today. Yeah. She wasn't feeling well over the weekend, but that's normal. But <laughs> we're going to go and sort her hair out today. We bought some clothes for her last week. Uh, and she's going to enroll in school tomorrow. <coughs> but she's waiting for her results from her teacher from summer school. Uh, so she can turn around and make sure her results of her coursework is at a, an acceptable level to then turn round and enrol for her second year on her accountancy. So we've got 29 modules to pay for tomorrow, which will be about 20 to 25,000 peso, which is good. So it's Monday, uh, we're here, cash machines are struggling to get, keep up with the money. Uh, we were recommended this uh, hair salon for Annie, it's called uh, Fix Bench Salon, okay, and uh, we came in here to ask, <laughs> See you later, darling. There we go. So, about a year ago, we went downtown and there was a hair salon opposite. Uh, have enough, Mum. There was a hair salon opposite uh, Gmail. We went in there and we got Annie's hair conditioned and all of this stuff that uh, women love to do with their hair. And it cost 3,800 peso. We're going to get the same treatment here today and Annie's going to have a new hairstyle. You've seen Annie, she was eating the mango float ice cream today. So you're going to see a new Annie this afternoon. Uh, it's 1,900 pesos uh, at this salon. And uh, Riza, uh, a friend of ours that's married to Greg, uh, that live on Nova Tierra, she recommended this uh, salon and said this is where we need to go. So, because we've got Annie some new clothes and we've got, uh, she's going back to school to do her second year, today it's give her a new hairstyle. So, when she enrolls tomorrow at school, we can turn around and uh, she'll, she'll be the new Annie for the second year. Anyway, I'm at SM Langen. Double, double, double. Okay, so waiting for, uh, for Annie. An hour and a half. Um, I'm here in Starbucks. Uh, this place is rammed. Uh, tables are dirty, and uh, lots of people are using the internet to do their business. Uh, oh. After the repo, still not enough tables and chairs in the Starbucks. And over here, so now there's an aluminium bar that's pulled to the windows that wasn't there before. And that goes all the way around, all the way around. So the walkway over here, you have to walk between that aluminium bar and the other aluminium bar and the other aluminium bar because on the left hand side is tables. So whoever designed this accident waiting to happen at SM Langer is a bit of a idiot really, isn't he? Because you have to walk where that girl's standing and she's standing on one foot on the tile and one foot on this aluminium runner that runs all the way around. So, if they spent a fortune 
getting a designer to design Starbucks. Um, should have got another designer. So accidents out of the way. Um, this week I was reading an article and it was in the uh, Danville Sun Star. And it, it was about uh, some school uh, pupils over in Dava Occidental. I was really interested because. 45 people had enrolled in the school and they were all over the age of 23. So it was adult learning and 18 of them passed their kindergarten exam. And as they're putting in the effort, they're putting in the uh, time, uh, you have to take your hats off to people that are having busy family lives, busy work lives. But I thought it was I thought it was exceptional. A great article about adult education. But it was the level of adult education from kindergarten. So now they're gonna to go to the next level of education um, and continue that onward and upward journey to enhance the academia. CTTMO here in Dava. That's on the 26th of July. They've been instructed to keep the side routes, uh, the pavements, uh, and the areas adjacent to the road clear for foot passengers, for foot customers, or foot people. The people that are actually walking. A lot of businesses here will turn around and have their business up until a certain parameter on their border, and there'll be an area you can walk around the outside. And if you're on the boulevard, they'll turn around and uh, fill it up with uh, gearboxes and wheels and transmissions and uh, garbage like that. Forcing the people to walk in the road. Um, but as of the 26th of July, CTTMO have been instructed to uh, clear the area of vendors, sorry sorries, little pedicab co coconut sellers and fruit sellers and uh, nighttime skewers and chicken barbecue uh, sellers. So it makes it easier for people to walk on the side of the road, makes it safer. I've had a couple of instances where cars have clipped me with their wing mirrors or trucks have clipped me with their wing, with their wing mirrors when I've been walking down my mine. Uh, and there are no pavements on my mine. But it doesn't stop people putting their little uh, pedicab there, selling their chicken or selling their wok fry shomai or uh, other little snick snack snacks, snicky snack snacks. Behind that towel, is Annie having a hair dry? There we go. This is going to be the new Annie. Going down to school tomorrow for enrolling Annie. Um, so, about 15 minutes ago, she was explaining to me that her class is going to be uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Saturday, be doing the minor subjects like National Service, <laughs> PE, and Arts. The other three days, Monday, Wednesday and Friday, are going to be the major subject for their accountancy. And then the reason for this vlog is, three minutes ago, that will change. Annie's going to school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, to do major subjects, accountancy, taxation, uh, corporate business, business management, uh, second year. 
but he's still going to be doing minor subjects on Saturday. So he's going to be doing uh, national service. They're going to give her a gun. The age group for national service in the Philippines is 22 to 20, 26, I think, either 27, and he's 33. So she's too old to do it, but she's got to do it at school. Uh, she's also going to be PE, and she's going to be doing graphic arts. Whatever that means, I have got a clue. But we'll find out tomorrow. Look, this is Annie. <laughs> oh, she looks true. she looks like Korean now. This is the new this is the new Annie. Tomorrow we go to school. Only for today. And we enroll. Yeah. Only for today. But you need to look after it. I think the band is too long. I like the It's okay, I'm not it's not my head.